So, are biker chicks really wild? I would have to say depends on what set you're on. Now, if you're just going to a big rally like Sturges or Daytona, they might seem to be wild. They might be doing the wet t-shirt contest, all that good stuff. But they're not as wild as they're trying to put on. Now, if you're going to a club party, on the other hand, whoo, yes, they can be pretty damn wild. It's funny, when you're in a club, at least when I was in one, you had what will you call patch chasers. Now, these were the women that didn't have an old man, didn't have anybody steady, wasn't married. These women were pretty wild, man. They'd do anything and everything they had to to get an eye of a member. I remember parties where these chicks, they'd go in the back room, next thing you know, one after another, the guys were going in the room, popping off their freaking loads, and they just sitting there smiling, man. Afterwards, they come out, get drunk, and then go for some more. Regardless of what you want to call them, yeah, they were pretty damn wild. Uh, again, they'd do anything they could for a patch. As far as biker women in general, I would have to say they're a whole different breed of woman. Again, it's broken down into which scene you're in. Uh, rub women, they usually aren't as wild as, say, an independence uh, old lady or a club's old lady. Uh, they're more toned down, if you will. You do have a lot of women that just love the lifestyle, they'll hop on any bike they can uh, to be around all the action. Usually a lot of them are the ones that you're seeing at the big rallies, they're doing all the t-shirt contests, they're walking around with the paint all over their boobs, which you know what, that kind of pisses me off that the rallies now do that stuff. A lot of the young guys, they are, or even the young girls, they don't remember the times when you could actually do that in open without getting ticketed. You didn't have to put the pasties on. You didn't have to do all the paint on your tits. No, it was pretty open, these biker rallies. And a lot of them, especially, you know, the local stuff where you go to the woods, you party, all that stuff, that's where you're going to find a lot more wild women than you would at these rallies because they're all constrained. They really are. You can't hardly do anything while well, in town anyway. Uh, I can't speak to the campgrounds and Sturges, what they do and don't allow. Again, I've never been to Sturges, maybe going to go and take a ride up there through the hills. I'm not going to actually go for the rally because I don't want to support no corporate shit. Especially when they don't let you have any boobies going around, man. That's just insane. That is the epitome of the biker scene was the wild women just running around and partying. Partying, boy. It was fun as hell. It used to be anyway. Uh, Easy Riders uh, Rodeo during the 90s, that's the way it was, and then they toned down, of course, you see where uh, Easy Riders went. But, again, if you want to see the wildest of the wild, you got to go to some club parties. Because as soon as you walk in, you'll be able to tell what I'm talking about. You'll be able to pick the patch chasers right out in the open, man. They don't hide it. They're the ones that are trying for the dominant stuff. If they can't get any of them after they played around, then they move on to different clubs. I remember seeing a few that would be wearing a property up patch with one club. Then something went down and then all of a sudden they're with somebody else from a different club with a patch. 
you know, patch chasers. <laughs> you know, yeah, they love the lifestyle. They love being around all the guys, the bad boys. But they go from patch to patch to patch to patch. Those are the ones you don't want to get your nuts off in, man. You know, some of them broads you're looking at have been doing freaking 10, 15 guys in the course of a freaking night or a party. Yeah, that might not be one you want to bring home to your mother to meet. It's just crazy, man, crazy. I remember one party, it had to be, and uh, China Doll actually talks about this one on one of the shows. We were at a party, I think it was a Valentine's Day massacre party. We had these broads running around uh, offering shots and stuff, and they would just leech on to the members. And they did it in front of China now. China now will slap the hell out of them. Uh, that's one thing that uh, the guys don't tell you is don't have to bring your woman to a club party because there's going to be some extra entertainment there. Some extra entertainment. But I would have to say in general, a biker chick is pretty damn wild. They're the ones that are really cool. They're open-minded. They don't give a hell. But, but... A true biker woman knows when to keep her damn mouth shut. Because let's just be honest, a lot of these women, they've caused some problems in the scene, man. You got wars going on right now because of uh, what one woman said uh, to get things started with another club, the whole nine yards. So, I guess that's my answer for this mini uh, motorcycle madhouse shorts. Uh, I know a lot of the guys are really liking these little short things, man, you know, six, seven, eight minutes long. Just getting, you know, topics off the top of my head or through emails trying to answer the questions and all that good stuff. But don't forget to subscribe, share the video. Gotta share the video, my man. Because YouTube, Jesus Christ, with this new terms of service, you guys are crazy, man, crazy. Anyway. Till the next one. you want to know how to support the show go over to our support store and get some awesome looking clothing we got rock on hats rock on shirts the rock on hats are embroidered get your exclusive merchandise now rock on don't forget to go over to harleyliberty.com get all your motorcycle club news what's happening in the scene we have a new article or articles every single day over at HarleyLiberty.com. And don't forget the sister site, BikerLifestyleMagazine.com. If you're into all that kind of manufacturer motorcycle and news, motorcycle rallies and bikers help in the community, motorcycle club editorials and more. And don't forget to visit us on Facebook. Get involved in the conversation. Watch videos done a motorcycle madhouse and more. Also, we have Instagram. Yes, Instagram. We have material that is not seen anywhere else. So don't forget, get on our platforms, check out your daily biker news. Rock on! Hey guys, this is Kara from Bagger Syndicate Cycles. I just want to let you know about a place where you can get the greatest apparel top of the notch all the beggars bikers and brotherhood and ladies don't you worry we didn't forget about you check it out at beggars syndicate cycles.com yo show is now available on spotify and all major platforms including iHeartRadio, radio itunes stitcher and more don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is James Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the crowd today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!